I thought I would make a quick video, or maybe it won't be too quick, I don't know, <laughs> talking about the new speakers that I want to build for my listening room. My still not completely finished listening room, but I'm using it all the time. So in that regard, it is finished. But I need new main speakers for there. I already have speakers. There's speakers I built about close to 15 years ago. And I was using those right up until last year when I replaced them with the console, my living room. So you might say, well, you got those to use in the basement, John. Why aren't you using them down there? Well, I like the speakers. I love the speakers, actually. And they sounded good when I had them set up properly. The only problem is that I like making speakers. So I want to make a new pair of speakers. And I'm going to be using the drivers from those old speakers to do it. I figure I got my money's worth or, you know, my enjoyment out of that. Okay. Um, 14 years, you could say. And I don't know. I like I, I like building stuff and then I enjoy it after. But I really like building stuff. So here's the woofer out of those. This is a... Uh, I think of it as C's, but it's supposed to be Sayas. That's how you pronounce it. And it's a CA 21 REX 8 inch woofer. Best suited for a vented box, and that's what the old ones were. And the mid range is a VIFA. VIFA is no longer in business, or if they are, they don't make speakers anymore. This is a PLMH09. Good mid range. And then the tweeter is a ScanSpeak uh, D2905 uh, D2905 uh, I guess that's all the numbers I need to recite, but it's good. It's a one inch dome textile dome tweeter So the old ones are a throughway those three speakers right drivers right there tweeter mid-range woofer actually had two tweeters another say as tweeter in the back facing rear I don't know if I'm gonna do the same thing here what I am thinking about doing differently though is making them into what's either a four-way full-blown four-way or a three and a half way and what a three and a half way is is you have two woofers your main woofer plays all the way down and goes up and crosses with the mid-range. But the other woofer, which is usually the same, like same make and size and model as the main one, this one only goes up to maybe 300, 400 hertz. Okay, so it, it fills in the base region. And it's especially good for baffle step correction, a, a way of dealing with baffle step. Now, if you don't understand what baffle step is, um, a quick explanation is that you lose bass at lower frequencies because it it doesn't just come out the front. It wraps around the box. And one way of dealing with that, well, there are a few ways of dealing with it, but a good way is to have another woofer. Now, I happen to have a 15-inch woofer here. This is not a very good woofer. But what it is, is it's very suitable to open baffle because it has a very high, well, not very high, but it has a high enough QTS uh, over one, 1 1.1, I think, QTS. And the primary reason for that is the size of the magnet. It has a high QES, it has a very small magnet, okay? So not much motor strength there. It has the stiffness in the suspension and has um, kind of middle of the road moving mass. That's cone weight and the air load in front of the cone. But I could make the speaker so it's completely open baffle and have it three and a half way so that the woofer goes all the way down, but only goes up to somewhere around, 
I'm thinking maybe 500, 600 at the most hertz. And then this one would go all the way down as best as it could. I think I'd have to put a subsonic filter on this one. It doesn't have as much excursion. Uh, I was having problems with that actually in my speakers. It was, you know, going a little bit too far sometimes. So this would go all the way down and then cross over to the mid-range at around, I don't know, around maybe 1500. I think that's where I was crossing it before. So you take the 1500 and you go up to around 6000 with this hertz and then this would go from 6000 on up. Those are the crossover frequencies I think I was working with before. But I would be able to fine tune all that. In the meantime, I just want to try to figure out how I'm going to do this and I think the best way to proceed is to build another uh, mock-up. You know, I would have to make a baffle that's big enough for a 15 inch woofer. And uh, I've got two of these, I actually have four of these, but I built two other speakers with these, uh, the first two. Like this is brand new, once again, this is brand new and never used. I bought this uh, close to 20 years ago or more, actually. Uh, Radio Shack, I think Radio Shack was still, well, Radio Shack was still here in Canada, Circuit City now, I think. Um, Radio Shack for $29.95 each on special, a deal too good to pass up. And here it is 20 years later, <laughs> I'm finally getting around to thinking about using them. But it all depends on how this thing sounds when I get it set up, how it sounds and how it measures. The one problem I do have is that this one is not well suited to open baffle. However, if I cross it above this one, it really wouldn't matter. You understand? If I took this one from, you know, all the way down, say 20 hertz, or right up to, say, 600 hertz, maybe 400 to 600 hertz, then cross this one over at 400 to 600 hertz, and go up to around, you know, 1500, maybe 1800 hertz, then take this one above that and the tweeter all the way up to the top. Then this one won't be playing in the bass range. This will be, you know, playing from, what did I say, 600, to, uh, 400 to 600 up. So it really doesn't matter, the QTS at that point. In that way, I'd probably be better off going with the four way rather than the three and a half. And then this will go all the way down as far as it can go. One thing I do want to do with this though is measure the excursion um, because I don't have any figures for that. I did measure this with my test setup and um, I got all those parameters. I just don't have the excursion. So I'll set up my little triangular thing and do that again before I actually use this speaker to make sure that it actually has enough excursion. Because, okay, 15 inch woofer, you really don't need a lot of excursion to produce a good amount of bass at a good enough level. You know, if you're, if you're shooting for 85, 90, 95 decibels, then this thing really doesn't have to move that much in like to be used for your main speakers. 